Hello everyone, I'm Social Democrat Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Kaiserreich playing as the Republic of China once again. Now, last time we took out Transamir, we invaded Korea, but now we have a focus to choose. However, my comments, some comments from yesterday's video, have told me that, you know what, it's a good time to attack the German East Indies. For if you see, the Russian-Albanian War, I'm taking a look at the Reich's Pact right now. They've lost roughly 25 million people. Holy cow. 25 million. That's insane. Third International has lost quite a few, of course. Rus Russians have lost 7 million. That's actually... That's not bad. That's not bad for uh, Reichsback to do that much damage. But, the German East Indies, or German East Asia, really, they're not that strong. And if Germany falls, well, the Reichsback's pretty much dead. So, I want to go to war with them, but... Do I have the means capable of going to war and being successful against a German East uh, Asia country? Uh, probably. Actually, yeah, probably I do. I did tell... Let's see. You guys head up north. You guys are doing what? How many divisions do they have? No manpower, so it doesn't matter. Honestly, you might be able to just win and take them out using seven divisions, maybe. Maybe not. Uh, you guys are... Ah, good comment with. Let's get the next focus. So, I could do fatal legations. I'm going to wait just a little bit longer. Intervene in Annam. Actually, that's not bad. I did say I want to kill them earlier in this campaign. Because I did liaison with DVQDD. So, I'm joining with my cat too. Chinese Binky. Good boy. Keep it down though. Um, I could intervene... This focus will be unlocked if our relations with the DVQ, DVQDD are low. Well, let's see what happens. So, our comrades in Indochina are victims of foreign imperialism just like we were. Helping them stand up against this tyranny by providing aid to their cause is the right thing to do. Let's see what happens. Now, I don't want to engage these enemies too hard down here. We have attrition, of course. And we don't have a lot of resources, do we? No, we actually do. We're actually pretty good. We need more tanks, of course, more support equipment. Pretty normal stuff. Um, if you guys could... Win? I don't. I didn't imagine you guys would win here, but that's okay. We want to send the tanks down to Korea as well because that'll help push these enemies out pretty quickly. So there is that, and they're attacking me in Pyongyang. Oh, the Coast Guards! We already have you guys set up, and who can give me the good stuff? Russia barely can. Um. Oh, Bartia Commune. All right then. Oh, Yemen. I will get some fuel from Yemen. I'm going to help support the Yemenese economy. Good. Lovely. What a lovely place to be. Increase your assaults by a little bit. Yeah, let them try to navally invade me. Oh, they navally invade me up here. Okay. That's not ideal. Um, Who's not doing stuff? You guys are doing stuff. You guys are doing stuff. You guys are up. Where are you guys? Oh, you guys are up right here. Excavation. Um, come there, I guess. Actually, that's really good. We got more excavation stuff. Look at that. That's beautiful. Uh, I really don't like this, so... See what happens. Um... Rubber. We're okay on rubber. It, rubber... We're gonna need more rubber soon anyway, so we might as well do this. That'd be good. More of you guys. Awesome. Put you on the line still. Oh, some of you guys are suffering from attrition. Maybe not. Yet, you're still getting attacked like crazy. I am trying to build up the infrastructure here, so... That'll be okay. Uh, keep making some more civilian factories. Wow, we got a lot of green. I love the green. Good. Keep giving them hell, boys. Uh, just help push for now if you can. You might as well help push as well. Honestly, if you can go crazy with all the divisions down here, I want to end this war against these guys as fast as possible. Um, I don't want to put you into here because you might suffer from attrition. Then again... It's this tile that's suffering from attrition, so. My apologies. Binky wanted to leave. Oh. And I just got his nail stuck in my toe. Or my foot. Ow. Um, doesn't matter. Cool. More divisions. Yeah. Yeah, they exist. Hmm. Ottoman Empire. Ottomans. Guys. Guys. Fuel, really? Yeah, I need some guys to help. Yep, keep cleaning this up, guys. Good, good. 
they, where did they go? Did they just like walk? They went to legation cities. Oh, there goes Columbia. Uh, supplies, meme artillery guns are doing very well. And we're having a good time with everyone down here. Thanks, go ahead, just keep doing that. I don't, why, why are you still attacking me? I have way too many divisions on this border for you to even think that you'll do okay here. That makes no sense. Then again, we are talking about Burma here. Please become an organizer. I can level you up, actually. Yi Ting. You have another spot. I'm going to make you field marshal. I don't want that Yi Ting. Where is he? There he is. So that I can make it logistic wizards. That'll be important. Now y'all need a general. Um, I don't want Tang. Do Zhang. Zhang Zesheng. Zhang Zesheng. That's kind of cool. Kind of a cool name. Awesome. Now you should be suffering less from supply issues. I mean, you're still going to suffer from supply issues no matter what. But that's still okay. Oh, Korea's looking great. Let's see. I'm just looking at my tactical bombers. I definitely need more bombers around here. Oh, look. All these planes we have now. Awesome. Some of our guys have got a lot of experience. Holy cow. Yes, look at these tactical bombers. Yes. Finally, China has an air force. And it's not completely incompetent. Uh, you know what? I'm going to spread you out a little bit. I could send this to Korea. But I'm too lazy to send it to Korea. Good. Help them out wherever they're at. Look at how weak these guys are. Could I win here? They're, they're low on organization. They're not... Eh, they have... Their infantry is pretty strong. Could you win here, maybe? Maybe. Maybe not. Probably not. Oh, the Fading Sun. After the utter defeat of the Imperial Japanese Army, our forces control huge swaths of land in Manchuria and Korea, while the Imperial Japanese Navy is, are reduced to attempting mere blockades. Our spies in Tokyo report severe dissident and war wariness among the populace. In light of this, the government has called a two-week conference in Port Arthur to determine the, our war aims. Total victory? Hmm. My coffee, my Chinese coffee is pretty good, though. Except the peace for now. Be warned that all those at war with Japan will have to accept for the deal to go through. I mean, if we don't end up at peace, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. I really don't care. Because I can do this indefinitely. Because I'm probably going to attack Russia next. Because they're doing pretty well. But if I were to show up with a couple armies. Not a, not a lot. A few armies help hold the line in Asia. Because killing off Russia is going to take a long time. Like, I know it's going to take a really, really long time. And frankly, actually, you know what? Give me another one from Flanders Valonia for now. Uh, I just know it's going to be a slow grind trying to kill them off. Oh, look. Dead men walking. They have no port here, do they? No, they don't. They're going to die here. Eventually. If we can kill their divisions before they lose, that'd be awesome. Uh, could we win there? No, we didn't win there. Oh, we actually... Four of our divisions were... De Wait, why are you going that way? Defeated. Hmm. Oh, well. Oh, and I don't get almost any political power. I can't go to war with the German East Indies just because I don't get any political power because of occupation. Which really shouldn't be occupation too much, but whatever. Hey, look. Four divisions there. Two divisions there. Good. A total of seven divisions. Probably it was eight earlier, but whatever. You guys have been told to go up here to help guard and destroy whatever's up here. Good. I need more fuel. That's okay. Good. Beautiful. Delicious. Tasty. Oh, I love it. In this piece deal, I do want Transamir. I want them as a puppet, though. Germany's still holding out for now. So is Dona AG Boom. But, oh my goodness, I didn't realize that Italy is actually unified once again for the most part. Except for, you know, for Republic down here in Naples. Oh my goodness. The collapse of the Japanese Empire and an astounding... 
uh, reversal of fortunes, the Japanese Empire has been defeated and today announced a treaty ceding its mainland possessions in Manchuria, as well as nearby imperial colonies. With its military strength shattered and the home islands themselves now threatened, the Empire has bowed to the inevitable and terms have been reached with its foreign foes in Dariem. Uh, the sun, rising sun is fading. To be conference support Arthur has ended in agreements. The terms Jap Japan offered were accepted and peace has been achieved. We have gained much and this is nothing but a perfect victory. We fought well and deserve nothing less. Now, like my Qing China campaign, I'm taking this. Russia does not deserve territory that it did not fight for. So, and I'm not going to, you know, fight anyone over that. Wait, why is... Oh, boy. Do I get to eat the former government of China, please? I will release Korea, too. Oh, there they go. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. That is my piece of the country there. Thank you very much. Good. And I will release Transamir, like... Because I said I want them as um, a Russian puppet so we can go to war with them. Thank you. Thank you. Korea, I will release you as well. A loyal republic. Now, do we lose any factories? Eh, a few. Not much to write home about, though. That's okay. Russia, you can't supply me with goods? What? What? So, Transamir... <clears throat> You are our puppet because, well, Russia doesn't deserve the land, like I said before. And, basically, I fought. We fought and bled, and you didn't do anything against Japan, so. Uh, manpower's not bad. They are on... Oh, extreme dependence. All adults... No, they're on scraping the barrel. Japanese military advisors? Well, you don't have Japanese military advisors. You have Chinese military advisors now. Ooh, reclaim our industry. The Russian Far East is ours. I can help them expand. Japan told them no. I can do this to help them out... And if Transamur gets all that land, I can take Transamur divisions and use them in my army. You guys, not looking bad either. You're on 170,000 with that much? Holy cow. Of course, they have a general focus tree. That's okay. I'm going to immediately go to... Wow, you have a lot of things here. I just want you to have Coast Guard divisions. That's all I really care about. These guys aren't bad. Infantry, that's not bad. I might be able to take that. Garrisons, that's better. Remove that. There you go. Cool. Yeah, eliminate by one, two. Good enough. And of course, Anton wants to cancel their non-aggression pact. I don't really care. They're they're nothing. They are nothing. Actually, for now, I'm not gonna get stuff from Transamir. I will do it later on when we have uh, when they have more land, basically. So that'll be good. Um, awesome. I mean, these, my armies have done pretty darn well. They're not perfect. We are now at peace with Burma, but we always have to keep a resourceful eye on them. Now they're independent and alone, which means Japan doesn't have any forces that could help them out if they continue to attack my land. I can take them out. How long do we have a truce with them? March 19th. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. I want Burma. I want to go to war with J Russia, but let's see if we can go back to war with Burma. By them being independent now, that might actually be okay with us. I might be able to take them out. And we're at peace. Uh, we're at peace now. I should have been making more ships, I guess. Whatever. Heavy interwar advance. Heavy hull. It doesn't really matter. I just need a ship. No matter how garbage it is, I just need a ship. We need armor. This is a terrible ship. You know what's better, actually? Mm, something that's easy to produce. I can't believe I'm going to be... Uh, cruiser. Proved light cruiser. Uh, what's a cost to produce this? 1900. Valkyrie cruiser is just a little bit worse, so that's not even worth doing. That's just a little bit more. Do this. Grab the light... Oh, escort cruisers. It's not a capital ship, which is good. This is going to be a terrible ship. Sometimes you gotta use terrible things. Wait. Fire control? Oh, crud. There we go. Now, this is a terrible ship. But, whatever. I have to have some sort of ship so I can get some naval XP. So that I can basically build a navy. So, I actually make two of those. I need as many... Well, I don't want too many of these guys. Yeah, this is gonna be... This is gonna take a quite a while. Makes these ships. 
That's okay, though. We're gonna need a lot of steel for this. I need more extraction now. Hmm. Hey, but the good thing is, they're done. The Japanese have been defeated. I have broken their country. We, really, we have broken their country. Um, you know what? I'm gonna combine you armies, these armies together. Thank you. Put you, put you right there. And you have tanks, which is great. I'll put them down here. This actually probably will ruin the supply, but whatever. Um, actually, well, give me five, you guys. Two, three, four, five. There you go. And I will need a ton of armies up north here. So, this is not going to be enough armies to hold, hold the entire front line against Moscow, but whatever. Uh, I will go to war with Russia. I don't care how long it takes. They, they won't be able to beat us, probably. Maybe they will. Ooh, liberate South Asia, though. Hmm. That sounds like fun. But, neutralize Russian imperialism. If I can help hurt Russia now, that's probably for the better. Like many other European powers, the Russians have simply seen China as a resource depot ripe for exploitation. But, be it through puppet leaders, underhanded diplomacy, or warfare, they've often acted upon this as well. It's time that we finally took a stand against their colonial ambitions in Asia. Yes. I forgot that I could actually just manually go to war with them. Ah, yes, no aggression packs. Cool. Oh, I need to industrialize. I need to integrate more provinces. But other than that, that's looking pretty good. Oh, Flanders, Valonia. I know you're not having a good time, but I could use more steel, man. Ah, Korea! Yes! Yes! Ooh! Yes! Look at that. Resources! I love the resources. Ooh, tungsten. Um, I actually need tungsten. What do we need tungsten for? I need more artillery and medium tanks. Oh, we need more military factories in general. That's nice. Oh, right there. Right there. And do one more as well. There you go. More military factories, thank you. Industrialize Hunan. Yes, please. Do it while we're at peace. God dang it. Who cannot give me my... Flanders. Flanders, Valonia. Come on, man. Korea. Thank you for all that you do. And I will bless you with a gift of pretty good infrastructure. Pretty decent, not gonna lie. Uh, oh, yes. More fuel. We'll be fine on fuel for a while. Uh, that being said, it's 1944. This campaign's gone for a while, but it's not gonna stop yet. Definitely not gonna stop. I can use some Mountaineers. I can really use those guys. Ooh, I could convert some divisions to this. Yes, let's do that. Oh, my God. Oh, hungry. No. Oh, no. I don't wanna trade Russia. No. Greece? Yes. Dutchies, Indies? Yes. That actually gave us quite a few more factories, actually. It's kind of nice. Um, French Republic? No, because you heard us before. German East Asia? Oh, uh, I don't mind trading away with other people. Bolivia. Bolivia. Yeah, we'll use Bolivia for that. Keep building up stuff. Refineries are looking good. We get 3,200 things of fuel a day. Awesome. I love the fuel. How much longer can we go to till we go to war with Burma? With them being alone, that's actually really good for us. Maybe up to 70 divisions. It's gonna take a while to, before we go to war with them. We'll get the Russian focus to kill Russia first before we can do anything else. You guys come down here. Mm. Where are you guys at? You guys are just can't hanging out. Uh you guys. Oh, you still have your god dang orders there. God dang it. How strong is Russia? I mean, they'll kill Germany if I go to war with these. Oh, look at that manpower. Germany, do not fall. For the love of God, do not fall. If we can attack them when they have no manpower, that would be amazing. I would love that so much. Now, we will run out of steel. Uh, I don't really want to trade with the Canadians, but I'll do it anyways. That could be absolutely wild. Oh, do we got another tank? Okay, the Dutchies Indies are revolting, so be it. Um, what happened here? Oh! Actually, that's not bad. You know what? Using my tanks here is probably not a good idea. I'm gonna kick you out for now. You come over here. Since the front has gotten smaller, since we're just attacking Burma. Another tank division, good. I could use tanks to 
fight the Russians, which actually might make more sense, but whatever. Um, which area is better supply? We'll just let time go on for now. It doesn't matter. Uh, you guys. Garbage. Who cannot give me the goods? This is why I don't want to rely on anybody. I really don't want to rely on anyone. Supply. Um, here, it's not great. Over here, though. Let's see, required 48, army needs 45. Supported 50. Oh, we barely have enough supply throughout both these tiles. If that's a case. Well, it'll help if I throw away, like, one of these groups. Like this group? Uh, just come over here. Where are you guys stationed at? You're over there? Not bad. Uh, do something like that. Probably bad for the supply over there, but whatever. I need my tanks here. And then you guys, bad idea, but let's see what happens if we do that. Probably a terrible idea for supply. Alright, guys. Asking you for goods? Mistake. Bolivia? You might be at war, you might not be. I still want stuff from you, though. Bolivia? Sure. Bolivia is looking pretty big. Who the heck? Brazil, you're up there next to Venezuela? Huh. Factories? Please don't fall. No, hungry. No. No. They're out of manpower. Now is the time to strike. I do want to get the Zili provinces instead of this up first. Wait, wait, we got Taiwan? <gasps> we have Taiwan. I didn't realize that. We have Taipei. Nice. God dang it. I'm tired of looking at this. They follow. No, not Vienna. No. The Socialist Republic of Italy is petting a great military parade around the Ringstrasse. No. Oh, that's disgusting, France. Holy crud. Oh, they're going to release puppets immediately. Oh, the lag. Oh, you're looking pretty big, Hungry. Mm, well, Hungry's back. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Good. Any more steel, though? Oh, and they're releasing someone else now. Next up is... Oh, Austria. No right. Uh, coming to France, I will trade with you, because why not? I want to reduce my dependency on these guys, thank you. Advanced rubber processing, great. And that stuff is good. I could, I could use more radar, but <clears throat> you never know if we might need a couple things here. I need, I need to upgrade my planes as well. Industrialized Hunan, good, good, good. And more lag, because why not? Oh, our supplies are looking real good. We're going to need as much supplies as humanly possible, just because I know the war against Russia is going to be a war of attrition. That's that's what it always turns into. So let's let time go on. Boom. Fighters. And I really want to stack a lot of things here in Burma. I want this war to go quick. Then we can get to it. And then I will also help out the armies that will be trying to fight Russia. There you go. Good. You guys, Albanian Socialist Republic has capitulated. Huh. Oh, modern. Good. Good. You guys can use some planes. Another 100. Come over there. Need more air bases. Cool. And you're in Vladivostok, so I can wait. Awesome. Modern cruiser holes. That's fine for now. Good. And we'll take a quick look at Europe once these guys are deployed. And once the game stops slagging. If the game wants to freeze or release people. Good. Uh, come right here. Because why not? Neutralize Russian imperialism. Awesome. Liberate South Asia. That sounds like fun. But I do need more stuff. More naval XP. That could be really good. Submarine stuff? That could be really good as well. Mm. I guess that. To the south, the colonial powers still lord over their subjects. They're treated like slaves and their land seen as nothing but mere rubber plantations. Their independence is an extension of our struggle and we should stand with them. Absolutely. Cool. Do I get any sort of decision about defeating the Russians? I hope to God I do. Uh, rally public support... Um, not yet. We get, wow, National Revolutionary Army looks really good right now. Looks really good. 
Land doctrine, research speed, that's not bad. New culture movement, local democracies. Can I please go... Oh, there we go, the Chinese National Revolution. After the disastrous failure of the Northern Expedition, the KMT's internal unity literally and figuratively split along ideological lines. Uh, some people went to Paris, other people were reduced, were reduced to Southeast China, but... Uh, get wave of KMT sabotage activities. I get an annex war goal, and now you know I'm going to attack them, so let's do that immediately. Oh, and actually I'm not really ready for this war. I'm really not ready for it. If that's the case, just because I don't have armies like stationed around here, which is fine. I'm like I'm acting as if I'm going to go to war immediately, but I have no divisions on my border. Well, on the main part of the border, I suppose. Y'all. Oh, there's so many holes here. I don't like these holes. So many holes. Uh, Asia, what a mess. What a beautiful, disgusting mess. Oh, and then, oh my god, there's so many things here. That's fine. Oh, wait, hold on. These guys are split up. Um, there you go. And I'm going to need another army. You know what? I'll, I will take you off. And I will put you... Under another guy, because you guys gotta come over there. New field, new field mar marshal. I can't speak. New field marshal. Jin. Welcome back, Jin. Hope you're doing well. Good. Tanks are down south, which is fine. You guys should suffer absolutely. N Montenegrin Socialist Republic has capitulated. All right. You guys should suffer no supply problems now. Using tanks, we should do okay. Yeeting. Looking pretty good, not gonna lie. Give me more attack for this guy? Oh yeah. Eight attack? Awesome. This is disgusting. They even released Transylvania? Solstice Republic of Transylvania. Beautiful. So the Entente Third International Reich's Pact, you better hold on for dear life. Please do not raise your conscription level, guys. They might have. Ooh. But then again, actually, how many divisions? I wasn't looking. That's a lot of divisions. That's a lot of divisions. So be it. Do you have any ships yet? No. God dang it. Uh, I need more steel. But we'll have a ship in May 2nd. In May 2nd? On May 2nd. I need more military factories, too. Now, we're going to run out of steel here soon, just because I won't be able to trade Russia for it, because they usually don't like to trade with you if you, if you attack them. But whatever, I can find alternatives. So, this front... Oh, actually, before we do that... Any upgrades? Not that I care about. Nope. And you all... Oh, Yang. No. Oh, you're not up to the line yet. Crud. Come on, guys, move. I know... Ah, actually, the supply is really good there. Holy cow, I built that up already? Level 10 out of 10? Philippines cleared one Germany East Asia, makes sense. You know what, even without you guys up there, that's fine. Go right ahead, everyone. Russia, this is for the century of humiliation. Ooh. Guaranteeing the independence, are they guaranteed by anyone else? No, good. Alright, boys, invade Russia. Invade Siberia. Good luck, you're gonna need it. You're really gonna need it. These 20 combat with divisions, they're gonna get crushed a little bit by 40 combat with Russian divisions. Don't think I forgot. I did not forget about my Qing China campaign, in which it's, I struggled a lot in that campaign because I forgot that the AI likes to use 40 combat with divisions. Hmm, oh well. So, oh, look at all these African states that don't want to fight for the German Kaiser. Kaiser? Kaiser. Dutchland, they lost a lot of guys. Oh, Middle Africa lost quite a few. Good. Ah, Germany's not close to capitulating, not really, even though they're looking really bad. Not bad. Oh, hello. Yeah. Uh, right now, I will go ahead and have a non-aggression pact with the Germans. Just don't fall. Please, for the love of God. Oh, God, it's lagging super hard. Oh, no, they might have just capitulated. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know why it lagged so hard there. Yeah, I, I don't mind non-aggression packs. Nope, call you in. Oh, you already have a division, maybe? Good. Look at those losses. Over 7 million. I love it. Hey, look. And I'm doing this to liberate 
and give back to Transamir their rightfully deserved lands. Even though I could make the case that this is out of Manchuria, we deserve it. I'm not going to do that in this campaign. I've already done that once. Princely Federation is looking pretty nice. Bharatiya Commune, how the hell are you still at war with Nepal? I know they're Nepalese, but... <clears throat> like, use Mountaineers or something. Like, artillery or planes or guns or something. Um, I want to integrate Hunan. Thank you. And we do have the cruiser production costs. Which is good. Oh, wait, hold on. Now, this is probably a bad idea. But I need naval XP. I really, really need naval XP. We've got some interesting guys here. Inshore fighter. Fjords and archipelagos. One down click officer. Experience growth. Inshore fighter. Huh. Attack when in combat alongside part of the fleet. Ooh. What is this? Retreat? I, I like the retreat idea. Chen? Let's get Chen. Train. It's because you're level 3. It looks good. 0.3 a day as a, as a whole. God, yes. But the design? <laughs> it's just garbage. It's just trash. Ah. This hurts me so much. But hopefully we don't get killed here. For the love of God, I hope we don't. Oh, wait. We have planes around here? No. Good. Good. Deliver them a death swift and strong. I'd love to see how strong their enemy divisions are. I hope they're not mobilizing more men. That would be really good for us. They might not be. I only say that because I've done this before, but sometimes Russia has so much negative political power that they literally can't raise conscription. I've seen other countries do that as well, like France. Oh, we've encountered a few Russian divisions here. Oh, oh no. Ah, uh, they're not that weakened. Some of the divisions aren't okay. That's okay, though. Keep pushing for now. This is the only time where we can probably push fairly successfully. And you guys need to push as well, because these front lines are absolutely atrocious right now. Uh, you guys, actually, you're going to come up here. Actually, you... Uh, who's a better? Fawn? Jin. I like Jin a little bit more. It's fine. Come down there. Now, they might be mobilizing. I might have done this... No, maybe not. Maybe they are. Maybe not. I don't know. It doesn't matter. More divisions? Good. I could use... I could actually really use more divisions now. Kuming? Good. Do I not own this? Foreign claims? Pfft. Foreign claims. Please. Force will not change your non-aggression pact. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to train... Give me 10. I don't trust a lot of people down here. I don't trust legation cities. I don't trust Portugal. I don't trust the German East... Asia people either. One, two, three. Where are you at? Cool. Good. Go to where you need to be. Do what needs to get done. Now, I was talking about steel earlier. We're doing oh, steel. Oh, I don't like this. Hungry? I don't need convoys for you. I don't want to risk that. Um, Greece. I'm going to help the Greece, the Greek economy up so much. Good. Oh, I need even more Greece. Give me all you got. I'm going to get rid of Hungary. Sorry, Hungary. You're not cutting the bread anymore. Cutting the bread. Oh, that's a little bit too much. Give me exactly what I need. And auto saving. Cool. Give me what I need. I don't want to give out too much of that I can't use. Fuel. Fuel me up. Give me that rubber. Rubber? I love the rubber. Mm, where the rubber meets the road. Good. Good. And then plop, plop. There you go. Always make more civilian factories. Always make more military factories. There'll come a time where I don't need to make any more military factories, but now is not that time. Good. Ah, liberate South Asia. Beautiful. Next up. Training's Expeditionary Force. I'm not going to do Fatal Legation Cities. Yep. We'll do National Dockyard Effort. As part of our larger industrialization plans, major ports under our control should have their capabilities for shipbuilding and repair expanded. Good. Ah, uh, yes. Six Naval XP. Yes, 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 yes. Um, modern. I like that we have moderns. I'm going to go ahead. Ooh, three... Oh, wait, I can't I can't save it because I need even more XP, so that's okay. You know what? Don't even show me this. Coastal defense ship, interwar, nope. Don't even care. Advanced, improved, Valkyrie, nope, nope, 
Nope. Uninterested. Advanced heavy hull. Don't even care. Not bad so far. Losses? How many? We've lost 68,000. That's a lot of guys, actually. Yeah. Serbian Republic declared one the Socialist Republic of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Cool. Oh, we're actually attacking and winning. There's some of these guys are so low strength. They can't do anything. Please, for the love of God, don't raise conscription. Don't do a focus that gives you more manpower. Because that'll be so good for us. Status of Armenia. Join the Entente. Don't don't you dare. Yeah, go to go to war with Turkey or crush Persia. That'd be great for us. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, they can't do claim Transamir. Huh. Because they already lost the provinces that they need to do that. What else have they not done yet? National Armored School, whatever. Build new dockyards. It seems a very odd time to do that, but whatever. Take as much land. The fall of Sacramento. Will this civil war ever end? I forgot. The Americans are still fighting a civil war. The federal government's pretty much won. It'll be interesting to see how far they go. With Russia losing now, or being occupied on a two-front war, I wonder if the Germans will be able to hold out for even longer. They should be able to. How much strength... Do the Europeans have? Hmm. You're a radical socialist. Oh, you're you're running out of manpower too. Germany. There goes Pacific states. You're still running. You still have more manpower than everyone else, which is good. Dutchland, Transamir, sure. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, I'm out of guns and artillery already. Holy crud. Two, two at a time. Military factories keep keep producing, keep producing. Um. Yeah, 100%. I like that. Good. Keep going for now. We will stop soonish attacking, but there's still not enough divisions for me to say not to attack. Except for down here, perhaps. Because this is looking okay now. You guys can also stop attacking. And then you guys... You guys can also stop attacking. You know what? Mm. I'm going to let you guys continue doing what you're doing. I will plot you right here to come all the way down here. Oh, wait, you're an entire line. Oh, okay. Actually, this makes perfect sense. See, this is why I wanted to attack, so I can make a nice, good front line. So, we'll come from here and go all the way up to here to meet up with the other armies. That's exactly what I wanted. And I do want to keep attacking just so that we can get rid of this side. This side takes forever to get rid of it. The end of the American Civil War. It only took until 1944 to get rid of it. Great. And the U.S. immediately declares war for Hawaii. Ah, oh. wait, are they in the Entente? Uh. Wow, America, are you are you strong enough to even fight? Oh, well, well, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, that's not bad. That's a lot of that's a lot of manpower. Well, the American Caesar, democracy triumphs. They went with that side. Armored Cavalry. Interesting. U.S. Navy. Back in business. I can go to war with... Oh, Burmese people. You know what? This is so historical for us now. Or not really historical, but we've been doing this for so long. We might as well just go to war with them. And they immediately try to fight us. Not even surprised. Oh, yeah. I need to use my tanks against those guys. Uh, need more naval XP. Keep doing what you're doing, guys. You know, I will drop you down, though, to medium. Don't just attack just because you can. Just attack when you can. This, take, this will take quite a while to do. Um, yeah, don't, don't worry about attacking, guys. Don't worry about attacking. Especially in places that are bad like that. We will have very concentrated attacks, though. Yeah, because a lot of these enemy divisions, they're just trash. They can't do a single thing. Now, that being said, my divisions aren't perfect. But you might be able to win here, maybe. Ooh, mountain infantry. Good, good. Get some land night attack. Oh, you might not be able to win. Hold on. Let's go ahead and rest up for now. That's okay. I'm going to make a couple of these other divisions. Mountaineer divisions. Good. Oh, I want lots of artillery on these bad boys. I'm playing a very aggressive China now. Ah, oh, these people deserve nothing. Absolutely nothing. Well, I mean the enemies. Not my people. My people deserve all the best in the world. Recon, absolutely. Support artillery, good. I need logistic companies next, though. Modern cruiser holds, great. 
I could upgrade cannons. Don't really care yet. Good. Do that. I'm going to convert you two immediately to the Mountaineer Division. I can't watch the line the entire time. Kill these guys off. You should be able to kill this guy off. Well, maybe not now. Second Resorgimento complete. Yeah, you can't win. Darn it. That's okay. Um, They're still doing what they're doing. Pretty normal stuff. Good. Yeah, I can't exactly win everywhere, but that's okay. They're pretty weak in some locations, so... Let these guys keep attacking. All or nothing. Cruiser armor scheme. Nice. Inclined belt armor. Keep focusing on that a little bit more. You guys are attacking. That's not going well, though. Yeah, these are probably 40 combat with divisions. So... I'm going to let them do what they're doing right now. They seem to be doing okay. How's Burma doing? Well, they've stopped attacking me for now. Use the tanks. Roll in. Use the infantry. And push in as well. They probably won't be able to pierce me. Good. This is looking like a giant mess. Oof. Losses. Lot, lots and lots of gun losses. So be it. More military factories, please. I'm going to need more steel. And... Uh, this probably won't work out as much as well as I hope it would. Yeah. You try it. Probably won't do very much for us, though. That's okay. If I tried to attack here, what would happen? We could still probably do okay. Nice. I will need to make some 40 combat with divisions, though. So... You are looking pretty not bad. Yeah, I'm going to need some major artillery. Some major... Uh, what was I going to say? Major things here. Oh, that's five things of artillery. Logistic companies. I love logistic companies so much. I hate supply issues so much. Engineers, good. Actually, what's our supply situation for support equipment? Not bad. It's probably going to ruin stuff. But I need recon companies. Throw that on there. Well, they're okay. They're not bad, but they're okay. Cool. Go ahead and stop the attacks. Yeah, except once you're finishing that stuff off, that's not bad. Good. So far, not bad. And anything else here we need to be aware of? War propaganda. We're doing okay. Let's go ahead and integrate the Zili province. And we shall finish up this episode once we finish this next focus. We have elections in 1946. Cool. Awesome. I wish I could see how big that division is. How's Europe doing? They don't have any more manpower. Germany is still standing still. And Poland has come back. A little bit. Awesome. Hold out Reich's back for as long as possible. And... Oh, good. Awesome. Encirclement detachments. Mountaineer technology. I like that. Standardized railway gauges. Let's do that. Railway development in China has been sporadic. In particular, the warlord governments have intentionally chosen gauges different from those of their regional rivals to prevent any easy invasion, and foreign firms would use whatever gauge was cheapest to build tunnels and bridges for. As part of our industrial programs, we must invest time and effort into converting all of our railways into the standard gauge. Absolutely. But that's all the time for that we have today, my friends. We've begun a war against Russia, in which we've lost a lot of guys, like, you know, a third of a million. So be it. I know we're going to lose a lot of guys. It doesn't matter. Just because I know we need to kill off the Russians. Because if we don't kill them off now, they're only going to come back stronger and stronger. But anyways, guys, we finished off Japan. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow as I will play this a little bit off screen to speed things up. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great rest of your day.